Hey YouTube, Renee here um, with uh, my latest tobacco purchase. Uh, I haven't done one of these videos in a while, um, and you know I I did have a um, I did have a tobacco purchase in mind with some new uh, tobaccos that I would really wanted to try and uh, review for you guys, but unfortunately Gaweth Hogarth came back into stock and. Uh, you know they've been gone for a while so I wasn't sure if they were here to stay or not so I thought eh, I better stock up on these so um, I was able to um, you know get some uh, get some Gallatin Hogarth in a couple of places and um, as well as some other a couple of things and you know um, for the most part it's I tried to get as many as I could just in case because you never know uh, like I said they've been gone you know I think what all of last year I think they were pretty much pretty much out so I figured uh, just you know I'll, I'll risk it this one time and you know just go ahead and stock up before just in case they're not here to stay so um, let's get started um, first is um, Gallup and Hogarth Rump Blake um, I was able to pick up two of these then I'm oh, sorry shaking it um, Bob's Chocolate Flake, the best flake ever, um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, one of the best, and I was able to score two of them as well. They actually ran out, um, a couple of Joes ran out when I went to go buy some, so, but I was able to score another tin at um, Smoking Pipes. Um, I also got uh, Top Black Cherry. Now, this one I've never tried. But, you know, it's it's also been out of stock, so I thought you might as well, you know, pick up a couple just in case. I, like I said, I've never tried it, but I don't know. Since it's not in stock, I figured I'd better try it. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do this without shaking it and, you know, shaking the camera. Um, the next one is the Best Brown number 2. Um, again, I was able to uh, pick up a couple of tins of this. Um, next is my second favorite flake of all time, two tins of Ennerdale. Nice, uh, aromatic flake, um, very soapy for you guys who don't know Lakelands, uh, so, you know, not a lot of people like it, but I love it. It's just, you know, an amazing flake. And, um, some broken scotch flake, I mean cake, sorry, two tins of that. The, um, unfortunately, I didn't have enough money <laughs> to stock up on bulk, so I just got a couple of, um, ounces of, uh, of some, some, um, you know, bulk, yeah, with an old guard. Um, this is Coniston Cut Plug. Very nice. Um, Brown Flake, unscented. And I think I got scented. Yes, brown flake scented. Very nice. And now the baggies have these ugly warnings. And last but not least, uh, Louisiana Perique Flake. Very nice. Uh, very nice flake, by the way. Um, one of the, you know, best Louisiana Perique that I, you know, know of. <laughs> Um, so th that was it for, uh, Gawith and Olgarth. Um, next, you know, while I was buying the, um, the tins, I bought them all at the same time, except for one of the Bob's Chocolate Flake, and then the, and then I, um, at Smoking Pipes, I was able to get some of the, um, bulk, uh, Gawith and Olgarth, but I figured while I'm there and th it was in stock, I figured I, I pulled the trigger on, um, Balkan by Brevia. And uh, I was able to uh, pick up five tins of that just to, you know, just to have, um, you know, in the cell, just to sell her. Uh, this is uh, one of those um, very few um, Syrian Latakia blends still out there. So I figured might as well. And lastly, of course, there was an es Esoterica drop. And uh, of course, I missed it. <laughs> like a lot of people, um, but um, I know that, uh, you know, through, 
you know, the grapevine, um, I heard that uh, Amar Cigars had some. And, um, you know, I, it, I don't know, it was like a, on Saturday or something like that. I, I went on and I saw that there was a, a couple of, uh, it was some Pembroke. They still had Pembroke. So, you know, I was able to score a couple of tins of Pembroke. I honestly did not meant to buy these really. Uh, like I said, when I saw that all they had left was Pembroke. I left it alone. I didn't. I, I didn't bother. But you know, later on at night, it was. I don't know. It was like around one forty in the morning. You know, uh, when I was going to bed, and I. I don't know. I just decided to check one more time on Mars cigars just to see if they were gone. Actually, just to see if Pembroke was gone, and it wasn't. So I figured, ah, eh, you know, why not? So I picked up a couple. They were good. You know, it had a good price on them. So I picked up a couple of those, and so that's it. Uh, Compares, comadres, you know, like I said, um, hopefully soon I will be able to purchase, <laughs> make another tobacco purchase of uh, tobaccos that I'm able, you know, able to um, uh, do a uh, review on. Because most of these, you know, I've done reviews on already. Most of them. Some of them I haven't. Um, I guess I could do those. But anyways, so until then, compadres, comadres, thank you for watching. As always, if you still are, yo con Dios.